Hey, this is the funnest video I have for Nons. I literally have been waiting to put this out for a while. So these are the character designs of the main cast of Nons. I really, 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 really was hyped. I always loved drawing my comic book. There was one time where I was obsessed with coloring and excuse me for the horrible art if the art isn't equivalent to the manga you see on YouTube. I did make this wear a mouse so it's a little bit more difficult but this is the basis of the character design. So yes, I'm bringing back Band-Aid Gabaya. I love Band-Aid Gabaya and so I feel like it wouldn't be fair if you guys couldn't experience the big out arc without Gabaya with the band-aid and I felt like that is gonna be crazy as hell So let's start off with the main character Gabaya Mudioto. So this is his signature where he wears primarily their outfits change They don't change entirely throughout arcs, but they change slightly, you know, depending on the situation But this is the main day by day, you know, Gabaya Mudioto. long shaggy hair Yellow eyes, yes, I don't want anything green having to do with Gabaya. I got tired of that over time. Oh, your eyes are so pretty. Green eyes, green eyes. No, Gabaya has yellow eyes. I must take that first and foremost. Gabaya has yellow eyes, black shaggy hair, and black sleeves. His color scheme is black and white. And Lily, that is something very important you must pay attention to. Look, Lily. And... Later on, I'm going to go into why he has a statement against Boomer. So, if you want to know what type of shoes Gabaya wears, his personality is like Adidas. So, you know, I also have a frame of Boomer for the end of this video. Just bear with me. So, basically, you know, Gabaya wears baggy jeans, like Lily. Gray baggy jeans. And Lily, nothing too off. You know, it will be sometimes where he wears Adidas shoes because the Adidas, he wears a pair of black and white Adidas to match his outfit. And I thought that was cool, but I'm, you know, not really sure if that's suitable for an anime. But we have a great confirmation at the end when it comes to shoe designs. So let's move on to the next character. This guy, Better Marshall. His character design, now this is a pet peeve of mine, so a lot of people predict that Ben's eyes will be blue based off his character design, based off him, you know, fitting a certain stereotype. But Ben's eyes are orange. They are not blue because that's a pet peeve of mine. They are orange. I do not like white people with blue eyes. And what I mean by that, I'm, I'm joking when I say that. I'm saying that I don't like generic eyes. I'm saying that because I specifically want that to be different for Betta's character. i written Betta's character to not be just like any other white person. This is why Betta has orange eyes and he has stereotypical blonde hair. So yeah, that's kind of funny, but I really need to state that those are two pet peeves. No green eyes on Gabaya, no blue eyes on Betta. So yeah, Betta's outfit, it's going to be different for the big out arc. It always was different. I'll go into that in a little video how I used to draw it better. He's going to wear a striped jacket for the big out arc. But this is his main character design every day. These symbols you see on his shirt right here. He wears a gray long sleeve shirt. Those are a part of a skateboard company. And I'm going to reveal another character that uses that design as a tattoo. So literally those, literally, those wavy bumps are a part of a skateboard company that he buy shit from and there's another guy who has that same symbol tattooed on his forearm that literally a buff guy who's literally a junior in x bay academy literally ha has the same skateboard company but literally like as a tattoo so i'm gonna get to that for another separate video so yeah that is basically better's character design it's blonde hair black beanie with orange eyes that is better's character so now on to his rival Tito. I love Tito. Tito is one of my favorites in Nons and Lily. So I really, really, really love his character design. There was a time like Lily, my mind was clogged where I thought, oh, Tito's outfit can't be black and white because Gabaya's outfit is black and white. But nope, no, no, no. So basically, Tito's character design is like this. You know, he has a white do-rag on his head, black hair, purple eyes with a black striped shirt or a musical note. So that is Tito's character design. And the reason why his 
Eyes Are Purple is based off Lelouch v. Britannia. So I thought it was crazy. So, like, get that. Gabaya Yellow, Bella Orange, and Tito Purple. Those are the eye color schemes. So Tito is, like, really one of my favorite, favorite, favorites, and his style is really unique. So that's his jacket. So uh, apparently from time to time, he does change up his shirt, like, when he gets really, really serious at times. You know, because um, I'm just saying, like, this is the basic shit for what they wear because keto the guy who i have next his character design does never change he keto's character literally he always stays with this orange long sleeve shirt with the yo-yo on it so yeah so keto is basically the kid of the group so his three hair is symbol immaturity so basically keto literally as you know his power is to control childish weapons as toys of mass destruction Paper airplanes, spit wads. Yeah, Keto's very, very, very like nifty where it comes to child toys, and he uses them as weapons. And that's literally that's his power. So, on to the brains of the group. Moldy Hero. Moldy Hero is one of my favorite characters to draw because of this reason. Okay, so basically, Moldy Hero's hair is based off of you know his whole entire character is based off Shikamaru from Naruto. So basically. His hair is literally, my thought process was literally, I was watching the Boondocks, so I thought about the Boondocks, I look at Shikamaru, so I want somebody to resemble Shikamaru in my comic book, so basically Shikamaru is upon my main cast of Nod, so this is the fifth and final member of Nod, so he's the brains of the group, so we have the leader, a guy who's literally, you know, just full of himself because of how multidimensional he is, and how goofy he is, and he always loves to have a good time, and he's down for crew, he's not really, like, power hungry like Goku, but he's not really, like, go hungry like Naruto, what he is, is he's a guy who actually enjoys hanging out with his friends, so basically, he doesn't come off as the typical shonen protagonist, so Gabaya Murioto is basically, you know, a uh, fun-loving guy that loves to get into action, loves to start trouble, loves to, like, literally, you know, he's a very ambitious character, but his ambition, you know, like, literally, it doesn't get in the way of the fact that he is literally a mixture between Tito and Bella, if you can't think about that, because Gabaya listens to both rock and rap, and Tito is a hip-hop fanatic, and he hates Bella because Bella is a punk rock fanatic, so it's rap versus rock, and the leader listens to both rock and rap, and the fourth person is an idiot, who Kido's literally mentally behind his age, but he knows what, he knows how to do, and he does that best, and literally, and Moni Hero is the smartest in the group, and literally, he's the one with the least charisma, like, Kido is fun-loving, you know, and easily be distracted, but Moni Hero is the one who always makes the plan, and makes sure all the plans come together, so that is the main cast of Nod, so on to the Sasuke archetype, the Sasuke of the show, Boomer Red Dodger. So this is Boomer's character design. So Boomer Lily is supposed to be Gabaya's rival throughout the entire show, and he Lily hates Gabaya because he comes from a clan that Lily almost obliterated his clan. So Lily, it's crazy because Boomer Lily is a person that Lily has a great origin story and very, very, very expresses his hatred towards. Gabaya's family within every single scene. And like, I love Boomer. So this is his character design. So he has gray hair with red eyes. And he always represents the star. So that little star emblem on his jacket. Yes, his jacket kind of looks like part one knowledge, right? Yeah, he has a little... His hair is grayer than his jumpsuit. So his hair is a little bit of a light gray. But his jacket is so gray and my I mean so light gray and might as well be white I think it might, yeah it's white yeah it's white yeah, it, like this is a little error but the boomer's jacket is white he has a red emblem star and he also has two patches on the side of his jacket but that's only for drawing purposes I can't do that on the computer just yet but that is basically the premise of boomer so if you guys want to know the fastest thing that I was staying earlier so Boomer wears Converse because of literally his star. So literally, so Gabaya wears Adidas and Boomer wears Converse. That is the difference between these two. So they are rivals throughout everything. And I, even when it comes to making a fashion statement. So Boomer's color scheme is gray, red, and white. What I mean, gray, yellow, red, and white. And Gabaya is just like black 
and white and yellow. So, you know, so Boomer has red eyes. You got to get the feel by now. Like, so that is the main cast of Nons. And this is the character design for the sensei of Nons at the end of this video, who is Kazi Dachihiro. So all these characters are really fun to draw. And I feel like this is a really good cast. I just wanted to get that out there. That Mori Hero has purple braids and he has yellow eyes. So, literally, if you think about that, that is a very, very, very good color scheme. And I feel like that, that's what separates him from the other members and makes him recognizable as Shikamaru. So, basically, this is the main cast of Nas, the character designs and color scheme. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, have a good day. And make sure to check out the link in the description, which is the Nas Valentine's Day special. If you want to see these guys in action, you go check out this manga movie I made a couple of months ago. And you have to watch this. This is really, really, really a good manga film. So you have to really, 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 like, analyze. If you think these guys are cool, wait till you see them in action. So please make sure to click on the link below and have a good day.